Thanks. Ben, six years ago, Boston, while Loomis was at Harvard Business School, charged with assault and sexual assault and battery. A conviction? Never went to trial. The charges were dropped. Mm, is she reachable? Married, still living in Boston. Call her, tell her you have to see her. And now you can be there by plane an hour and a half. Mr. Robinette, I told you on the phone I have nothing to say. Yes, yes, I know, but you did file charges against Mr. Loomis. The charges were dropped. It was a mistake. What was the mistake? Filing the charges or dropping them? I don't want to talk about it. Look, I'm sorry you went to all this trouble to find me. Miss Brody, Mr. Loomis has been charged with the murder of a woman he assaulted. I'm sorry. I have nothing else to say. Do you think I'm stupid? Away from my apartment in neutral territory. You thought I'd tell you things. I'm not an idiot. I may be young, but I understand some things about human nature. Your fiance is human nature. What do you understand about that? You talked to Ned that night when Paige Bartlett was attacked. When anyone ever asks Ned for anything, anything, a favor, a friend, someone on the street, he's the most generous person I know. The night Paige Bartlett was attacked. He came to my apartment around two. He was drunk, upset. About what? His business going under, having to sell his apartment. He's been dependent on me for money. That makes a man unhappy. How unhappy? Ben, she knows he killed her. You read minds? If I put her on the stand? She'll never say it. Yeah? Mr. Stone, there's a Mr. and Mrs. Brody here to see you. Send them in. Mr. Stone, I'm Alex Brody. How do you do? This is my wife, Elise. Nice to meet you. And my associate, Paul Robinette. We've decided that she has to talk to you. Well, please be seated. A last minute trip? Not exactly. For a long time, I thought it was my fault. I met Ned at a mixer at B school. I was Simmons junior year, and they, uh, they were Harvard Business School. He was very sexy. He came back to my apartment, and I was very inexperienced. He wanted... He's not judging you. oral sex and he got angry he tried to force me and he pushed my head and he he choked her It was a car accident. They still don't know. I'll testify now.
I can't let you testify. What? Rules of evidence. A defendant's previous behavior cannot be admitted in a trial. Even if Loomis had been convicted of assaulting you, it would be very difficult. You mean this guy can go around hurting women and they won't listen? That's the law. I told you, I have nothing else to say. Miss Byrne, I'd like you to meet Elise Brody. This is what Ned Loomis did to me. Oh. What time did he get to your apartment, Miss Byrne? He woke me. Um, it was 2.30 in the morning. And what did he tell you? He said he had hurt Paige. He said it was an accident. It was her fault. An accident? Did he tell you what he meant? He told me he was drunk. She wanted him to have kinky sex with him. He said he didn't want to. He was engaged. And she dragged him into bed. And when he fought her off, he hurt her. Do you consider Ned Loomis to be a trustworthy person? Objection. Irrelevant. Mr. Stone is asking her whether she believed him. Overruled. The witness may answer the question. No. No. I don't find him to be a trustworthy person. And would you tell the jury why? Uh, objection. Your Honor, now he wants an opinion on an opinion. Overruled. Thank you, Your Honor. Once again, Miss Byrne, why do you consider the man you are engaged to to be untrustworthy? The night that happened. Ned told me that nothing like this had ever happened to him before. And I believed him. Until I spoke to a woman who told me he had choked her. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Mr. Stone knows damn well that you can't allow... Sustained. The jury will disregard that last statement. And you pull that again in my courtroom, you'll regret it. No further questions. <laughs> 